you're on Chekarudi's channel and if you stay tuned you're going to see his daily life and his life on the road and yep that's right I'm his son and I hope you enjoy Yeah, 
Yeah. I got about an hour and 45 minutes to go to Hazleton. Now we'll pick up our load and hopefully it's ready to go. Now we'll make our way to uh, Mississauga, Ontario. We have to be in Mississauga tonight. Uh, at least that's what the load offer said. It says. Because they got to go out and deliver that stuff tomorrow and they have local drivers doing the local deliveries so I think they start pretty early in the morning doing their deliveries so we'll try and uh, get to Toronto tonight then well Mississauga is part of Toronto And then me and son, me and my son, we know where we going for dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them where we're going. Master Steak. There you go. We're going to go to Master Steak. That's right. We want to have ourselves a very nice steak, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, well. Anyways, we got a little bit of construction going on up here. Not sure what they're doing yet, but we got the cones up. Well, guys, we are just about to get to our delivery uh, pickup place up here in uh, Hazleton, Pennsylvania. And yes, we got a lot of snow last night again. That's one of the reasons why I stopped early. Because it was, uh, there was an accident. We spent about two hours in traffic there. And then I figured, well, it's still snowing. So I figured may as well just pull over and call it a day. Continue on today. So, But it looks gorgeous with all the snow here on the, on the trees, you know. But that's the way it is, I guess. Anyways, we got about a mile and we will okay, be at our pickup place. I don't know what happened to that guy. Anyways, let's go pick up our load and let's make it over to Toronto. Well guys, we finished picking up our load here in Hazleton. Had ourselves some nice sandwiches. You mean subs? Sub sandwiches, yeah. That's it. They were really, really good. Yep. And we got sunshine. Yeah! That's nice. Yep. And plus on top of it, all our border crossing has already been accepted. So we're good to come to the border. And we got ourselves a reload offer. Yeah! I do have a reload offer. They actually want us to pick that load up tonight, but uh, I won't be able to do that because uh, I'll be running out of hours by the time I get there. Well, it's still in Toronto area, but uh, that load is usually to be picked up at the 11 Eastern time. That's 10 o'clock our time. And... Uh, my day started at 6.30 today, so uh, I can't be doing that, nope, is that 6.30, so at 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, .30. because we have 16 hours in Canada, we can be, uh, can be doing our stuff, right, but that only leaves me half an hour, it'll take me at least 20 minutes or half an hour to pick up that load you know so uh, I can't go nowhere and I can't sleep at that place either so I have to try and see if I if they're okay with it if I pick it up tomorrow morning you know which normally they are normally they don't have a problem with me picking it up in, uh, in the morning so We'll see, I sent them a message already asking them if it's all right if I can pick it up tomorrow morning. Hopefully that will be okay. And then, uh, well, 
that load is going to Edmonton. Yeah. If they do allow me to go pick it up there tomorrow morning, and then we can deliver that directly, then we will be going to Edmonton. Yeah, that's gonna be a long trip this week. Yeah. Lots of miles. But that's what I needed. I needed some miles to pay for all that stuff that we got repaired. Yeah. We'll keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope for the best. Make sure that we can uh, do that load. I checked my hours already. That's usually about uh, 37, 38 hours to go over there. And I have about 42 and a half hours for, for the uh, delivery time. So we'll... Uh, We'll be alright with ours. Well guys, we have just crossed the border into Fort Erie, Ontario. And just look at the lineup that we got up here to going into the United States. Yep, this week is a very busy week at the border because of all the uh, kids that got their school break, you know. I guess everybody's trying to go into the United States. Holy moly, that guy had his trailer axle slide it up way too far to the front. Hey, yeah, that was not even legal the way he was driving. Oh, well, we got 143 kilometers to go and we will be in Mississauga, Ontario. Yep, that's right. We've had very nice sunshine pretty much all day, right? Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. That's nice. Yeah. Very nice. We enjoy sunshine, right? Yep. And up here in Canada or Ontario, not yeah. Canada, but uh, Ontario, uh, your truck has to be governored. Yeah. At 105 kilometers an hour, which is 65 mile an hour. Looks like they got a flying J up here now. They must have built a new flying J or something. Yep. And we will be in uh, Mississauga in about an hour and 45 minutes. So we should be there. Chuck inspection. As long as the uh, traffic ain't going to be too bad going into Toronto. Hopefully it won't be. Usually it's only bad if it's raining or snowing or something like that. That's the way I found it at least. I've never seen this scale open up here yet. I don't know. I guess they know when we come from the US we're legal. We're good to go. I drive legal anyways. Yep. Now we'll go have ourselves a nice dinner at Master Steak. Yeah, tomorrow morning we'll go pick up our reload and put the hammer down towards Edmonton. Yeah. Get some good miles in those. Yeah. Anyways, we'll continue rolling. See what kind of interesting stuff we see for the rest of the day. It's about quarter to five central time already. We got about 8 degrees Celsius here earlier, so when I checked. Well, that's nice. Oh, that's where the Flying J is. Ah, oh, that must be brand new because I don't remember that being there before. Ah, I don't know how long it's been there, but I don't come through here that often anyway, so. I guess they gotta build new ones. Well, guys, we are in Mississauga. Yeah. We had ourselves a nice shower down here. Yep. Or what would you say? Shower was good? Yeah. yeah. We had ourselves a nice steak, right? Oh, yeah. It was very nice Oh, steak. yeah. So we, we are set. We are going to go to bed right now. 
and then we will be back tomorrow at 5 a.m hope you guys will be joining me on my journey this week it's with my son but uh, normally it's just by myself I hope to uh, keep you guys entertained and that's basically what I try to do well you're definitely keeping me entertained there you go if he's entertained you should be entertained <laughs> Anyways, have a good night everybody. We shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m.